Okay, so Sherry Miller um, with Planet Adventure, and you've been one of our illustrious judges for this whole donut tour. Uh, any donut places stand out in your mind, maybe ones you've never been to before you're surprised by? Anything come to mind? Um, definitely Sunrise. Never been there. In, in Fortville. In Fortville. Mm -hmm. uh, small place. Liked that one. So that was one of the... I love donuts. So I've done all the donuts, just never have done Sunrise. Uh, and what did you think of Jack's today? Jack's was great. I've been to Jack's probably three or four times already, and Jack's was great. And what kind of donuts do you like personally? I know you had to have a yeast and a specialty. What was your specialty donut mostly like at all the locations? Definitely blueberry. Blueberry? I'm blueberry. Blueberry fritters. Okay. And so when we announce the winner next week, um, who do you think is going to win? I mean, based upon what you've seen. I'm not putting you on the spot, but you had to pick a top two, maybe one. That's a tough one. All of them had different, I guess, different qualities, but this is my, this is my prediction. Yes. Tim's. You think Tim's will win it? Tim's. Small Tim's. place, but great staff. Awesome donuts. Okay. Well, there you have it. That's a, a prediction from one of our <laughs> sequestered judges. Now, you've been at the Cambria Suites for the last four weeks. You haven't been able to leave the the hotel. <laughs> yes, that's true. Is, that that, is, was, true. is your family anxious to have you back today? I am excited to get back, but this has been a great experience, one that I will definitely tell my grandkids about. Okay, well thanks for uh, putting up with us for four <laughs> weeks, and tell your family we said we're sorry, but we're glad you're going back today. All right, thanks. <laughs> one of our uh, illustrious judges, Andy Murphy. Andy, uh, has this been a fun tour or what? Oh my God, I love it. I can't wait for Fridays. You know, eight donuts in a row. Love it. These are so good. Unbelievable. Which donut number is that for you this morning? Four. <laughs> Fourth donut. I'm only halfway done. You know I love donuts. <laughs> That's why you picked me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you picked me on this oh one. I'm not God. sure. I said, I want to do this. I want to do this. Uh -huh. It's been so much fun. And every one of them, the shops, the bakeries have been unbelievable. So yeah. no matter which way you go now, you know you got a good donut around. Yeah, and I, I think of all the four we've been to, any of them stick out in your mind as surprises or ones that you were kind of just ever been to before and you were shocked? Or? Well, I'd never been to Tim's, even though it was just down the road from me. And um, I went the first time and I got there. I thought, I'll get there at 730. I thought that was early. The line was out the door. It was pouring down, raining. And I thought, okay, this they must be good donuts at 730, standing here in the rain. But um, it was small, but yet... It was very good. And, of course, obviously, Jack's. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had to make a prediction right now, you're just one of the sequestered judges we had. Yes. Uh, which one would you think is going to win this thing next Friday? I think it's going to be close. Um, but I think, this is personal, I think Jack's is going to do it because their specialty donuts were just as delicious as their yeast and cake donuts. So what can I say? I'm not prejudiced, but no. I know my donuts, so there. <laughs> you got one to prove it. I've got 10 extra pounds to prove it, too, thanks to you. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, get on my racing bike, and I'm going to race home. Uh-huh. Uh, it looks like a, <laughs> a Nissan chariot, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> tricycle. I love my tricycle. Okay. I go fast on it. Well, thanks for judging, and uh, we appreciate all your me. time. And We'll be there next week, wherever the winner's going to be, and eight donuts is what we're going to do. There you have it. Okay. That's it. Bye. Mm. Okay, so now I'm joined with Lori Quinn with atfishers.com. And Lori, this is in your hometown, right? Yes, I live just one neighborhood over, over in Tanglewood. And Angie, is she a neighbor of yours? Yes, she lives two streets down from me. Wow, and so you you can kind of testify for all of Saxony here. I mean, what's this place mean to this place? Everyone comes here, whether we ride our bikes and then we go play in the playground. We stop here after the Saxony movies. Saxony Development has done a great job in bringing the community up here in this section of Fishers together as a family. So you think they should pay Saxony to, or pay uh, Jack's Donuts to be here maybe? Maybe, or maybe just with free donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think free movies, you know, free concerts, free donuts. Yes, absolutely. Just build it into the uh, property taxes. There you go. <laughs> so in your opinion, now you're not a judge, but in your opinion, who has the best donuts in Geist? Jack's. Absolutely, hands down. <laughs> no bias there. <laughs> None. <laughs> okay, so we've got a couple more judges here. You guys normally ride your bikes to this uh, type of event, but uh, this morning you kind of opted out because where were you guys last night? We were over at the Blast on the Bridge. And you were doing what? We were working. <laughs> Were you selling donuts? 
we were promoting our uh, Fondo, which will be August 17th. Wonderful, and I'll be emceeing that, by the way. That'll be yes. kind of fun for us. So you guys have been to every one of these donut shops over the last four weeks. Uh, any donut shop stick out in your mind as something you've never been to, a surprising, anything like that? Well, I think this one is a great um, addition to the donuts uh, on the east side. Um, it's, it's definitely one of my top uh, picks, is it? but um, you'll have to see what my favorite is when you do the tallies. <laughs> what about you, man? What do you think of this place? This place is cool. I like the, um, the variety of their fancy donuts. Never had a mint chocolate chip donut, so that was pretty cool. How was that? It was good. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? I, think, get... I think it's for the kids. I think the kids will yeah. like it. Kids will definitely like That's it. That's why you liked it, huh? I, I, I ate it, so it was gone. <laughs> And, and so, yeah, I know you're judges, so you can't really be biased, but in your opinion, based upon talking to other judges, because this is kind of a networking function on Friday mornings, who do you think is going to win this thing? Honestly, mm -hmm. Tim's. You think Tim's will do it? Yeah, I think Tim's is going to pull it out. Same with you, Matt? Um, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. It's tough to tell. Yeah. Well, we got the score sheets back at the office, and we're going to have uh, – an official accounting firm go through those and make sure we get them all tabulated correctly. Yes. And uh, now you guys have not been sequestered like the other judges because you guys had other things to do. So we had to sequester the other ones at Cambria Suites for the last four weeks. So oh. you guys are nice. You guys got to sleep in your own homes. And that was nice. That was very nice. Yeah. So we appreciate that. But you had to ride a bike. So that was kind of the trade off. Yes. <laughs> well, we got to go ride it tonight, today since we just ate all these donuts. So. And how many miles are you guys going to do today? I don't know, a couple hundred? At least. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys say. You guys are laughing, but you guys actually do like 100 miles in a day, right? Some, uh, some days. Yeah. Matt does 100 miles. I'll do probably 30 miles. Okay. Yes. 30 will be a good ride today. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being judges, guys. And uh, next Friday, you're more than welcome to join us at the uh, winter. We're not going to announce it till Friday morning. What we're going to do is Neil and I are going to get in our car in the At Guys Mobile, and we're going to mm -hmm. stream live as we drive to the winter. Oh, nice. So nobody's going to know where we are. They can see out the side the windows and kind of figure it out. But until we get there, then we're all going to surprise the winners with the uh, donut cup or the sugar cup or whatever we want to call it. That's right. Do we get to tweet our guesses on where you are? Yeah, you guys can tweet so them. So as you're driving your vehicle, we can be like, I bet you're on road, blah, <laughs> yeah. blah, blah. Just hashtag donut wars. Okay, awesome. All we'll right. do that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, with Kathy Moore, another one of our judges who's been sequestered for the last four weeks at Cambria Suites. <laughs> Uh, Kathy, your impressions of the donut tour overall? I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> have you gained any weight over the last month? I've eaten more donuts this month than I have in the last year, I think. <laughs> but have you like grown to love donuts again? I have grown to love a particular donut, but I cannot reveal which one that is. Sorry. Oh, so you've already got a favorite in oh, this whole thing. No question. No question. All right. So <laughs> you don't want to give us a prediction on who you think is going to win this? Um... No. Okay. Well, we're going to tabulate the votes. I think the, the last name will be Donut, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good guess. Well, actually, I think Donuts. I think Tim's is called Tim's Bakery, and Sunrise is oh. called Sunrise Donuts. Oh, well, then I could be wrong on my prediction. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we'll see who's going to win. So, um, overall impressions. Any of these donut shops impress you, surprise you, place you hadn't maybe been before? Well, it is interesting because two of them are old-time neighborhood donut places that you don't go there because of the atmosphere or the tablecloths or anything right. like that but they put out an awesome product right and you know they have that history in their community and then the other two are brand spanking new and look really nice and you know if your donut drops on the floor you don't mind picking it back up and <laughs> well I would do that anyway but <laughs> <laughs> but you know to be fair I mean you have to look at some of these places are fairly new. I mean, Saxony wasn't even oh, yeah. here five or six oh, years yeah. ago, right? Well, and it's awesome. And I've not even been in this area before. This is really cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Jack's Donuts was a nice, nice visit for you? Jack's was great. They had very good Bavarian cream, oh, which not all donut places have. Sometimes they just squirt that sugary stuff in there and they're done. <laughs> but they took the extra time for the Bavarian cream filled. Ah. So, yes, that was good. So that gets That's an good. extra nod for you on the specialty note. That was side. my specialty nod. And remember, we didn't, we didn't uh, rank these guys on cleanliness or tablecloths no. or the environment right. is all about just the donut itself so this is going to be a very pure a pure skew i guess on the uh on the scale of which has the best donut food only not ambiance not atmosphere gotcha well thanks for being a judge and now you can go back to your family um, since you've been sequestered for four now weeks I have straight. To go back to my spinning class or something <laughs> is what I have to do. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you at the fort. Thanks. Have, it's only a we dozen and a half. We should have filling around our face. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, what's your name? Uh, my name's Josh. 
Josh, and you live here in Fishers somewhere? Live here in Fishers, yep. Okay, and who do you have with you this morning? I have my brother-in-law, Neil, and my uncle, Keith. And you guys are from out of town? Out of town, yes. And so we got, I think, Arizona and... Ohio. Oxford, Ohio. Oxford, Ohio, okay. And so you, you brought these guys down here to sample the Jack's wares. Why did you come to Jack's? Oh, it's the best place around right here, um, and variety, uh, and we're bringing back for our family who are still sleeping. Uh, we had a late <laughs> night of fireworks last night, and uh, so we told them we'll take care of breakfast today. Understand, understand. So what was the selection this morning? What did you guys get? Uh, variety. We It was the uh, uh, worker's choice, So she, uh, although we had to have a s'mores one, s'mores. Uh, and the Oreo as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thanks for coming out. So we're doing a donut wars. We're trying to figure out the best donut shop in Geist. And we went to Tim's, we've been to Sunrise, we've been to Daylight down the street. Yeah. Jack's was round four. Who has the best donuts at Guys? Uh, Jack's. Jack's Donuts. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Taya Reimer stops in just unexpectedly to Jack's Donuts during our donut war. And Taya, do you come here very often? Um, yeah, when I'm home I do. Yeah. And where are you at normally? Out playing basketball somewhere on the tour? Yes, well, this summer I've been at Notre Dame for summer school, so I just came back for the holiday weekend. And you play at Notre Dame for the women's basketball team, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> and tell us about some of your accomplishments at HSC because you have a really good connection here locally and some of the accolades you got, some of the things you accomplished during your career here at HSC. Um, well, I had a pretty good career at HSC. Uh, unfortunately, we never won sectionals, but um, my senior year, I got to come out as the all-time leading scorer, which was a pretty big deal for me, and uh, that was exciting. So. Mm -hmm. And what else? Didn't you play overseas and play some basketball? Yes, I played on three USA basketball teams, um, the U16 team, the U17 team, which uh, won a world championship, and then the U19 three-on-three team. Pretty accomplished career, and you're what? A fresh? You're gonna be a sophomore this year at Notre Dame, right? I'll be a freshman. Oh, you'll be a freshman. So you haven't even really started yet. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so you're gonna go up there and own the place when you get up there? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe in a few years. <laughs> All right. Well, best of luck. And so we're, what we're trying to do is the donut wars at guys. We're trying to figure out who has the best donuts at guys between Sunrise and Daylight, Tim's and Jack's. Who has your vote for the best donut? Jax definitely has my vote. That's my favorite here in Geist. So. And, and her word carries a lot of cloud around here. <laughs> Thank you, Taya. Thank you so much.